Hey guys, and welcome to How to Draw Anime Faces Part 2. And, of course, we always start with circle. Like, that's how you start an anime face. Just draw a plain, simple circle. It doesn't even have to be perfect. And I'm drawing the line down. Because this is a three-quarter face. Forgot to mention that. And I'm drawing another line. And then I'm going down again. And connecting the lines a bit. To make the shape of the face. And I'm doing that on the other side too. And the other side usually is a little bit wider than, you know, the right side in the video. But that's because the face is turned away. Like, halfway away. You know, three quarters away. But yep. And now I'm drawing the hairline. It's a pretty cool step. And I'm drawing the ear too. I had to add that in, you know, earlier this time. Now I'm just erasing stuff. And I'm drawing the line where the eyes will be. And I'm, you know, making it lighter again. I'm just, like, shaping out the eyes this time, pretty sure. Now I'm actually drawing the circles again. But, you know, I'm drawing the circles. I didn't put the circle in the middle to space them out evenly. But that's because I've been doing this a long time. If you want, you can still, you know, put the circle in the middle there to help with the spacing. But now I'm just tracing the ovals I drew to make the eye shape. Okay, now I'm drawing the nose and the mouth. Just do this however you like, really. It's pretty fun to experiment with the expressions. Okay, now I'm adding in the eyebrows. Really easy. And the eyelids, that's also really easy. And now I'm just like going over things a bit, bulging the lines. Yep. So yeah, that's also a pretty cool part. You don't have to do it again, but if you want to, you can. And it makes it look a little bit more... It makes it pop more, basically. And now I'm drawing the hair. I'm just drawing like a whole bunch of, like, you know, curvy lines. To make it look like the hair is pretty messy. And I'm bringing it down in bangs. I'm drawing like a guideline for how I want the hair to go. And you could just, you know, make whatever hairstyle you like. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing in the video. Okay, still drawing the hair. This part takes longer than some other parts. Like this. And drawing the eyes, that's what takes the longest for me. But I'm drawing, like, you know, some little lines. Like, really light lines. So, I kind of have a template of how I want the hair to go. And I just draw, like, a bunch of triangular shape. So it looks like it's hair. Okay, now I'm going to add in the pupils. And the hand you saw was my friend's. But okay, now I'm drawing the ovals for the pupils. Like I said before, you can put like two really thin lines where you want to put the pupils. But I skipped that step in this video. I'm just adding in the highlights and the pupil. And I'm chaining it in a little bit at the top. Okay, now I'm drawing the shirt. And I'm just shading in a little bit at the bottoms of the hair, like where the lines are, just to make it, you know, like hair. Like you don't have to shade in all of it, just like a little bit of it. So it looks like it's hair and it has a texture, but it's not all one, like, color. Blenders. Yay, now we're at the blending. That's the fun part for me. So I'm just going over the lines I drew earlier to shade them a little bit. It makes it look really good. But yeah, that's pretty easy. Just, you know, you can experiment with them. You don't even have to use blenders, but if you do want to use them, just, you know, go over as much as you want. Oh, and a tip, if you don't have any of the blenders, you could use a Q-tip or even tissue paper, and that works just as well.
Now I'm shading in the eyes a little bit. Yep. And I'm kind of rubbing the blender on the paper so I could get rid of all the darkness because it makes it really dark if you don't do that. So I'm shading in some places like the nose and the eyes and the cheeks and under, not under, like you know where the hair is on the head, where hair meets the head. But you, know, you don't have to do this, I just think it kind of makes it look a bit more 3D and realistic and it makes it look more like, you know, it's a human being with skin. But yep. So yay, side face. So I start with a circle again, and then I draw a line down. Then you kind of just want to do like a 90 degree triangle sort of looking thing. So you make the jawline. That's my friend again. And then I just kind of go over, refine the shape of the nose, like you know, kind of make it curve. But that's what you do. And you can play around with it however you want, like make whatever kind of profile you want. But yeah, that's the fun part of drawing, you just experiment. Yeah, so I'm experimenting a whole lot here. Just like, you know, going over it, making it look better. Yeah, just get it how you like it, really. And now I'm doing the neck and the shoulders. Okay, now I'm just going over the head so it looks a little bolder. And I'm drawing the eyes too. I didn't do the circle this time because there's only one eye to draw. But you could do the circle if you want. Or you could just freehand it. But it's kind of easy to draw a profile face because you only have to do one of each. It's pretty cool. Now I'm adding in the mouth. Because I already added in the nose. But yeah, that's easy. now I'm just drawing in the pupil so again I didn't really draw any like lines so like you know where I want to put it because there's only one you know you don't have to make them even but yeah you just draw an oval shade it in however you want yep and then I draw in the eyebrows and hairline it's also pretty easy then I think I start drawing in the hair or something okay so I'm actually drawing in the ears right now Okay, so that's, you know, a pretty good step. You don't want to skip that. Ears are important. And then I just draw the hair. It kind of poofs off the head a little bit. You just draw however you want, really. Like, hairstyles can be complicated, but there are some really good references out there. Pretty sure you can find some good ones. You can't make any up yourself. If you have trouble with the shape of the hair, just draw like really, really lightly a kind of outline of how you want the hair shape to be. And then you just go over with your pencil and you actually draw like strands of hair. Like, not singular, like just like draw triangular sort of shapes, like pokey. Or you could draw like flatter ones, just like however you want your hair texture to be, just try to draw as best you can. You draw wavy hair, curly hair, whichever one curly is a bit harder in my opinion and I usually draw either wavy or straight now I'm just shading in the shirt again okay and now I'm shading the hair We can make some things darker. I start with dark, as I said in the previous video. But just start with dark if you want to. And then kind of, you know, 
The lighter as you branch out a bit, make like strands, like lines so it looks like strands of hair. And I'm using my blenders again to blend the hair together a little bit better. That's a really fun step. Like I said in the previous video, you could use a Q-tip if you didn't have any blenders. You could even like take a pencil and kind of coat it in like a paper towel or something and use that. It rips a bit easier though, so I wouldn't recommend that. Because then you could get some, like, you know, marks all over your paper. And I'm shading in places like the nose and the lips and the shadow the hair makes on the face. Yep, it's my friend again. Yep, shading. It's good stuff right there. Yep. And that's my finished project. It's pretty good, I guess. Uh, just experiment however you want, I guess. It's really fun. Hope you like the video. Like, subscribe, and share. LOL.